Oh, One Piece, 1040, dog. This one, this one was hard. This was a really, really, really good one. I really enjoyed this one. And like I said to like everybody that I've been talking to, Big Mom is not done. Because after every single last fight that Oda has drawn out, they said the winner is clearly this and the loser is this, like in a little square box. And this happened today. Big Mom is done. Wasted words on young ears. This, this, this title, this title has a little bit of weight because we saw Big Mom really like saying some, some funky stuff of talking, like a monologue of her talking to Roger, thinking about like, dog, why are you doing all this? You got these young bulls coming after us. Why did you, why did you do this? It's kind of like her last words, but we know she's not, I don't think Big Mom is done done. I think she's like, not for right now, but like, I don't think she's done done. But anyway, she's she's like talking to Roger, like retrospectively, like, dog, why did you say all this stuff? You got these young bulls coming after us. We had like a power scale. We had like, everything was cool. Now you're talking about this damn One Piece and this One Piece thing might be in wine all up. Bro, Relax, you are dropping some heavy info on us right now. What do you mean part of the One Piece is in Wano? Now it's really putting in perspective, like we're towards the end game of One Piece because now if part of the One Piece is in Wano, we know that the One Piece is comprised of like the ancient weapons. So like which ancient weapon is in Wano? We know that that's where the polyglyphs originated from, like the language for it. My gears are turning, like what, what ancient weapon is in Wano? But we'll get back to that later on in the video. I'm gonna I'm get to the start of the, I'm gonna get to the start of the chat. Big mom, not done. Not done in the slightest. She's back, she's here. She's like, dog, did you really think that was going to touch me? Dude, I am, I am a Yonko. You're going to die. This is my time now. That young bulls, get the fuck out of here. We're done. So starting out, we have big mom getting pounded and just drilled down. <laughs> drilled down by kid with his rail gun, okay? And then she's like, she's sitting up. She's like, she's taking it. She's she's just like, dog. This is this this hurts, but like I, I can still move. I still got it. I, I'm cool. And then she looks up. Everybody's around, and she's like, dog. How are you still moving and breathing after all that? Law shoved a sword up her up, up her chin, and then pounds over with another sword, stretched all the way down to land, and just created a shockwave that blew a hole in the land. And then kid. It's just nailing you down with a rug. How are you still living with this dog? How how are you alive? And just like not letting her breathe. They're not giving up off of Big Mom. Big Mom is really just taking it. She's like, oh, I, I, I'm I struggling, but I can take this. Everybody around them, all of Law's teammates, all of Law's crew, all of Kid's crew, they're like, dog, y'all need to get out of here because she is, about, she is about to pop off. She's about to do something crazy. I don't know how, I don't know what this thing is, but she is still withstanding every single attack that you've thrown at her for the past five minutes and these were heavy hitting attacks these were awakening level attacks i don't know how she's still living big mom she 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 stands up she's like oh i have one last attack that is going to take you all out i am tired of you little brats slavery or die and if you know how big mom's power works if you fear big mom she will make you submit to whatever she says it is either like death or like in this case slavery you will either serve me for the end of time or I'm going to take 50 years of your life force. Kid and Law, they're like, I don't care. You're a bitch. What are you compared to us? We are clearly beating the shit out of you. I don't know what, I don't know what this is. Why are you, why are you trying to pull this on us, dog? Law, re -rum. We have never seen this. I think that Krum is an awakening power that kind of allows him to, I use a lot of hand gestures, but like it allows him to put his room thing on top of objects and then regular room is like a area of, of room that he does his operations on and then re room can put it around a specific person because that's what we see him do here he puts his room around big mom so that she can yell out to like hera or prometheus or zeus to kind of like save her because they're going to drill her down to the bottom of the sea floor. And as we see them throwing her down to the bottom of the ocean, Big Mom's 1,000 Leagues of Misery is chasing after Law, but guess what Law does? Law backflip, slices in half, keeps doing what he's doing because he is that nigga. That is Law. Stop playing with him. Law is the GOAT. And as we see him doing this, he has a flashback thinking of Kodazon, and he's like, this is what my savior would do. Put my life on the line, put his life on the line, to save everybody else around him because that is what he needs to do. He is at his limit. This man just did an, a, two awakening attacks trying to take down Big Mom. 
Both of them did substantial damage, but since Big Mom is such a big, tanky bastard, he just needs more. See, everybody thought that it was going to be Luffy at the top because all the last chapter said that the floor on top of the ceiling is cracking. Luffy is about to punch the shit out of Kaido into the floor on top of Big Mom all the way down, hitting the bombs and all that. That's not exactly what happened. And as Big Mom is falling, we can see that she is trying to grab on to everything for dear life and she's hitting bombs, okay? Yamato's like, bro, what is this? What, what is going on? Where are you, where did you come from? And while she's grabbing around, she claws one of the bombs. Yamato shields it off and I forget his name because I'm so pissed off at him, but the dude that does the drawings, his little fire gas spirit thing just got obliterated because it's ice. Yamato makes ice. And with the bomb, psh, melts the ice, the water gets splashed onto the little fire creature thing. And that's how that's how his power works. Like if the water gets onto it, it's done. So I'm pretty sure our little fire spirit thing is taken care of. So even though Big Mom did hit one of the bombs, that did have a huge impact because now the, like the entire bottom right half of the island is just chunk. It's gone. Dunzo. So everybody now, the, like the immediate next page of the chapter, it just shows like everybody's just like falling because that's a huge chunk of the island that's just being tilted because everything's just like starting to crumble down. So we see right here, Chopper, Brook, Robin, Zoro. And notice right here, Zoro at first, like the last chapter, he was like looking up, like he was, he was facing up. So that was not actually Brooke because Brooke is right there next to Robin. This nigga met death. He faced death. He he met some creature and that creature had his wave of him. And I don't I don't know what's gonna happen to Zoro now because the panel immediately after that, Zoro is falling down. And he is lifeless. He is motionless. You can see blood just splattered around. He is I'm scared for my boy. You you see I you see I got the Zoro drip on right now. I am scared for my boy. Immediately after that, we have Otoichi and Kozumi, Kozumi's still in there just playing the little, little guitar, playing the guitar. And I think that Raizo and his other dude, they're done. So we're finally done with that. And as Big Mom is falling down, she's having these words. She's like, Roger, why'd you say that? Why'd you talk about this One Piece? Why are you getting these young bulls riled up? Try to take everybody else down. Try to get this power scale thing out of whack. We had a good thing going on. Why, why are you doing this? This this One Piece thing better be real. Why did you say that? You, you're about to die. You're doing this on your deathbed. This has no impact on you. So why are you making this hell for all the rest of us Yonko? What are you doing this for? Part of the One Piece is in Wano. One of the ancient weapons is in Wano. Which one? Truly, I don't know. We have confirmation that Big Mom is done because we see the boxes right here and a big ass explosion like right outside the flower capital. I did not notice that that is right outside the flower capital on first read. Like now looking at it like that, it's right, it's right there. That means that Momonosuke didn't push it back that much after all. Cause it's like, that's like a couple yards. Like that shit is close, dude. Oh my God. Immediately after that, we have Kid Law. They're worn out. Their, their whole crew's like, yo, you did it. You, you got rid of a Yonko. All good. It's like a celebration. Like we're cool, we're cool. Everything is starting to calm down down a little bit like just a smidge we still got luffy and kaido at the top but everybody else's battles are like done and out the way i'm pretty sure if i'm remembering correctly everything else is cool now we just have loose ends with momonosuke and yamato trying to get the rest of the bombs out of here and like kind of like de-escalate everything the last words of this chapter momonosuke says yo yamato i need you here we need to be here I need to tell you something real quick. Zunisha is on its way. This was this was Joy Boy's partner in crime. Twitter, the partner in crime. They were like this 800 years ago. I think that that puts further proof onto the devil fruit that the Goto say we're talking about was the one that Joy Boy also had. And if you guys have seen the little theory that Ohara put up, he's saying that devil fruits carry a will on their own. So are they saying that the devil fruit that Joy Boy had? is also the devil fruit that luffy has because as we all know luffy is probably going to end up having the will of joy boy and like just being like someone that will really change this world this was an incredible chapter we're on break next week um i'll probably come out with another kind of just like more thoughts and like more theories on the chapter later down this week but i don't know how this episode is going to work because i was all over the place just talking i was excited and uh if you guys like what you saw please like comment and subscribe i appreciate it more content for one piece coming in the future 
Nintendo stuff, all that stuff. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.